everyone, Nancy here from YourEnergyRx.com with your quantum healing code for February 2022. Before we begin, I'd like to invite you to check out the YourEnergyRx.com website for info on our latest offering, Energy Checks, as well as one-on-one -on -one healings, mentoring, downloadable workshops and masterclasses, and wearable healing tools. Last month, we began this mini-series on decoding depression. If you haven't watched and installed the code for part one, the link is below in the description. While there are many reasons for depression, after all, each one of us is different, I find this month's topic to be prevalent among most of those that I counsel. Present time. Now, what do I mean by present time? Some people call it mindfulness. And while mindfulness is a nice description for present time, does it really explain how or why we need to be mindful? Here's how I see present time. I see three places you can invest your energy. Past time, present time, and future time. Remember, where you invest or focus your energy, what you put your attention on fuels that place or thing. And everything happens in present time. We can see what has happened by looking at yesterday. We can hope for or intend for what we'd like to happen by looking at tomorrow. But ultimately, all things happen where your body is, and your body is in present time. So, if you tend to dwell on yesterday, or last year, or how someone hurt you sometime in the past, you are fueling that thing to continue having an effect on you. Conversely, by holding your attention on tomorrow, the future, you risk missing the opportunities that arrive here today, which could profoundly alter your tomorrow into something you've been wanting. Now, I'm sure you're asking, what the heck does all this present time stuff have to do with depression? As we continue to dwell in past time events, we become stressed. As we continue to focus on the future, we miss the clues the universe sends us in present time, which would lead to the actions we need to take in order to manifest our dreams. Missed opportunities lead to more stress, and that stress leads to a growing doubt in our abilities to ever be able to get what we want which leads to even more stress and self-doubt. So, let's pull a code to break this cycle and begin focusing our attention on present time. Here's the request. Is there an assisting frequency for highest good that will release the energies that hold us in past time and future time while rewiring us to live in present time and open our inner vision to clearly see the opportunities which will assist in manifesting our dreams. And the code that emerged is from the Anahata Codes. It is the giant sequoia. Ooh. So, how can giant sequoia energy help us to remain in present time? The giant sequoia has been around for over 144 million years, can stand 370 feet and have a diameter of 40 feet. Their structure protects them from fire, insects, and severe weather. Science has proven that these trees clone themselves, which means that the knowledge these trees hold and pass on in each clone 
is as ancient as they are. Here are some of the benefits the giant sequoia is said to bring. Stabilizing, healing, and soothing the mental, emotional field and clearing depression. Balancing and energizing the chakras and the auric field. Clearing chakras and the aura can hold you closer to your body and your body is always in present time. Enhanced ability to prioritize and resolve issues. This helps you to not dwell in the past or the future. Greater connection to the natural elements. Being grounded can hold us in present time. So with all that being said, let's install the code for the giant sequoias. First thing we're going to do is ground. If you know how to ground, go ahead and ground. And if you don't know how to ground, you can put your attention on the base of your spine, down by your tailbone, and connect a rope, a wire, waterfall, something around the base of your spine, and drop the other end all the way down to the center of the planet, and plug it in securely. Then back at the base of your spine, I'd like you to create a switch right at that connection point of the first chakra and your grounding cord. And let that switch say release and flip it to the on position. And now put the consideration, the commandment, the intention into that switch and to that grounding cord that together they will release from your space everything that is not yours or no longer serves you. Everything that's not yours or no longer serves you is going to be released down the grounding cord and given to Mother Earth. And breathe. And then come on up to the center of your head. Picture yourself behind your eyes between your ears and create a space in there from which to work. It can be inside, outside. It can have furniture, no furniture, hammocks, water, no water, whatever you like in the center of your head with you to create a space to work from. And now right-handers, left-handers. There's a position we take on that helps us to follow the signal of the code from source into our space. So right-handers, left-handers, it's slightly different. Right-handers, put your dominant hand, right hand on your heart chakra, center of the chest, and the left hand goes in the air like an antenna. It's gonna pick up the code as we ask for it. And left-handers, switch it. Left hand, dominant hand, center of the chest on the heart chakra. Right hand is in the air like an antenna. Now, as I read off this code, I'm going to read it multiple times. And I'd like you to picture that code coming from source, wherever source is for you. It could be up, down, out, in some black abyss somewhere that has all the magic of the universe in it. Wherever source is, I'd like you to picture the code coming out of source and into your antenna hand and then coming down your antenna arm across your shoulder and being delivered into your energetic space through your heart chakra. That's the delivery hand. And then picture that code swirling around in your space. Okay. And matching up with your version of the code and bringing it up to whatever full strength is for you. Okay, bringing that code up to full working order for you. Okay, here we go. We ask for, accept, and align with the Sanahata code. It's with gratitude we accept the assisting frequency 
for the giant sequoias. And let's close up the installation by putting both hands on the heart chakra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it is so. Ah. Wow. Well, to better understand what's going on with these codes, I encourage you to watch my presentation on how the codes work right here on YouTube. And please subscribe to this channel. Also, check out my YourEnergyRx.com Code Carriers Facebook group for even more codes. So that's it for now. I'm Nancy. Enjoy this month's code. And remember, there's a code for that. See ya. Bye.